Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I don't mean to be rude, but... Would you mind just leaving for a, a, a couple of minutes? Leave? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I got a big job to do, and, and, and I can't do my job if you're doing your job. No, I'll be quiet. No problem. No, it's not a question of that. You're here. I need privacy. I need distance. I need to be alone. Uh, my boss gave me a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? What, what's the trouble? You, you, you just you stepped outside the, the room for a minute. So what? People need me here to you know, take care of business. No, no, they don't need you here. This is not a job for human beings to be here when other people are going to the bathroom. Nobody wants you here. Everybody's disappointed when they walk in here. They don't want to see you. I'm sorry to say. With all due respect, people come in here with bad breath. I got, I got mouthwash. People come in here, you know, look, I need a little spruce up. I got cologne here. They would gladly sacrifice the gum, the cologne, the mints, anything you have here for some privacy. They would, they'd sacrifice it in a second. People, I have a purpose here. When an animal goes to die, he leaves the pack. That's what needs to happen here. I need to be alone. I'm a dying animal. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, look, look, I'll give you 20 bucks for you to leave this room right now. And I'll tell you what, I'm opening up a coffee shop, okay, Latte Larry's. I'll give you a free cup of coffee and a scone for a week, okay? I've seen the signs for that. Yeah, all right. Well, that's, right. that's what I'm prepared to offer you. Yeah, make it quick, please. Yeah, make it quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can. Sam Winokur. You know I know your dad, right? Yeah. From, from the golf club. He told me you're his favorite patient. Oh, well, yeah. Um, so, you want to work here part-time? I do. You drink coffee? Yeah. You make it yourself? Yeah, we have coffee maker at the house, grind up the beans. You know what a latte is? The latte is just espresso and steamed milk. Kid know his shit. Okay. You know what milk consideration is? I'm afraid I don't, no. You pour too much coffee in a cup, you're not leaving room for the milk. Because then it's, you have it spilling over the top. Yeah, exactly. Right. Have you ever dealt with the public before in any way? Well, at my dad's office, I mean, you have dozens <laughs> of new patients a day. Yeah, you know, no, all that's different... not what I'm talking about. No. The people who go to your dad's office, nothing near what you would be seeing here on a daily basis. Oh, really? Most of the people who come in here are going to be you know, just disgusting human beings. How do you mean? Vile, vulgar, the dregs of society. I think I'm up to the task. You do? Yeah. You know what? You're hired. Thanks so much, Larry. Okay. I won't let you down. I don't think you will. I'm sorry, while I have you here, I couldn't help but notice you scratching at that rash oh, yeah. on the side of your neck during the interview. Have you had a chance to have that looked at? You know, I haven't. Well, I mean, just looking at it, I can tell you I'm not very concerned, mm -hmm. and I really think it's no more than just a moderate outbreak of atopic dermatitis. So there's a number of over-the-counter topical ointments you could use, steroidal creams like cortisone I could recommend. Mm -hmm. Something like that should clear up in a few days' time. Okay, well, you know what? That was very impressive. Oh, sure, thanks. With all due respect, I think I'll go see your dad. Thank you. Okay, can I ask, uh... But why? Yeah, because he's a doctor. Great to meet you. Thanks again, Larry. I appreciate it. OK, I won't let welcome. you down. I don't think you will. Have a good day. All right, you too. It's a good fucking kid right there. This is going to work out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my jacket. Oh, Man, fuck. I got snagged again on this thing. All I this know. shit. All this is snagging hazards. These, these. Yep. All that shit. Walk with the hot coffee and shit. shit. Grab your pants and shit pour on your fucking chest. We got to get some new handles. Yeah. Hey, fuck the snagging hazard. Um. I'm Harold, the, the bathroom attendant from the other day. I got fired, leaving my post. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. He fired you? Yes. What an asshole. So whatever you can do to get my job back, I would appreciate it. Because mm. you were the one that, you know, invited me to leave the room. But you know what, if I may say? Maybe a blessing in disguise. The bathroom is a palace of shame. And having someone watch you in there, it just, it doubles down on the shame. Just talk to the restaurant manager, please, okay? Okay, I'll talk to him. Hey, my man, you got those little mints and shit you guys have on the fucking counter? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Still fucking working, look at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks. My man, it's for you. Thank you, brother. My man. That's for both of us. Magical vagina. When you throw it magical, that's taking that shit to another level. I want to see what the fuck that is. Yeah, me too. That fucking vagina could pull a rabbit out of that motherfucker. Or, yeah. like, put this fucking Pop-Tart in that fucking vagina and toast that shit. Ah, there you go. Now that is fucking useful, that's, that's magical. That's a magical vagina. That's, that's magical. exactly right. Huh? 